Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just finished writing CP1 paper 2 and um, I wrote CP1 paper 1 yesterday. So I officially have one exam left now. I just wanted to kind of give you a debrief on how I feel like it went. So with paper 1, right, I felt like it was the kind of paper where you kind of wish there's no paper 2 because um, I felt like given that it was open book, it was quite fair and none of it was like, oh my goodness, this is just crazy. What are you asking me? And then um, in that paper though, I did run out of time a little bit. So for the last question that was worth 27 marks, I think I did only half of that question. And then I left out the last few bits of it. So yeah, that's the one thing I'm concerned about for paper one. Then for paper two today, um, I don't know how what, what to say <laughs> because, um, oh yeah, I forgot, I, I forgot to mention quick thing about yesterday's exam. I was so nervous that my hands kept on sweating and I thought that they would keep slipping on the keyboard. So fun fact, I washed my hands three times before the exam started. So initially I had applied lotion on them so that they wouldn't be ashy. And I was like, no man, this is not working. So I kept on washing, trying to get it off because I thought that was the reason why I was sweating. But I think it was just the nerves. Then for today's exam, I wasn't as nervous given yesterday's ex exam. But um, I think it went okay. The thing is, with actuarial exams, you never really know. But then, in my opinion, for this particular sitting, I don't feel as unprepared as I've felt in the past. Obviously, the only time we're only going to know is on the 8th of July, but I'm not... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to articulate what I'm thinking, but... It wasn't too out of the blue, if that makes sense. So now that it's Friday afternoon, I'm going to study the whole weekend for SP7 because um, I'm writing it, but it's not sponsored by the company. They only sponsored one exam. So for next week, I'll be back at work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I'll take a day of annual leave on Thursday to write my exam. So I still have um, a few more past papers that I need to do for SP7. So yeah, that's what I need to do to, today, later today. I don't know. I might rest. I'm not sure. But if I don't rest, I'll do part of a past paper. I don't know. I'll, I'll do some studying of some sort tonight. And then definitely boot camp over the weekend. And then uh, Monday morning... Monday evening, Tuesday, Wednesday, same thing, after before and after work. And then on Thursday, I'll write my final exam and be done with the sitting. So yeah, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Just real quick, I forgot to mention that today my time management was a lot better than what I did yesterday. Out of the same 100 marks, I only failed to fully answer 8 marks. So that's the last question that I attempted and I put down, I think, five points. Yeah, which is like so far from what you need for eight marks. But overall, that was the one question that I didn't answer to my satisfaction. So that's the one that I felt like I ran out of time. But it was way better than the amount of time I felt like I ran out of yesterday. So yeah. That's my debrief. Hey you guys, it is Thursday, but it's a different Thursday from the one that I promised you I would be back. It's actually Thursday, the week after my SP7 exam. So I just thought it's still important for me to do this exam debrief for the SP7 exam, even though it's now like a week in the past. It's literally been crazy town in my life since the time I wrote and you know my skin is breaking out and a whole bunch of things I've just been super stressed because like you know work and 
trying to relax as, as much as that sounds crazy the admin that went into my spa weekend kind of added to the stress it's, it's a long story and it's in a different vlog you will get it when you see it but yeah they, there's been a lot going on so even though we actually had a public holiday this week on tuesday and i've had a whole weekend between the time i wrote and now i just haven't gotten time to check back in with you guys but here i am i think i still kind of remember the stuff from the exam day it's just it's not as fresh anymore because you know it's different from when you've just written and you really document how you feel in the moment but i feel like the general stuff remains so first of all whether the exam was fair or not in my opinion i think it was fair because there weren't really any essay three kind of questions um the stuff that they did ask that was a bit not in the notes not expanded in the notes is more c1 stuff cp1 sorry i keep mentioning the old code but yeah it it wasn't it wasn't wild i know i keep saying this about every single exam but if you if you wrote the april 2020 and or the september 2020 you would know this time around they kind of stuck to what they put in the notes so it was fair in that respect so the one thing is it makes you wonder when an exam is like that because they might just turn around and tell you the pass mark is I don't know some crazy high number like 75 percent 80 or whatever and you're there with your something between 50 and 60 or something just over 60 and they're just like no the pass mark is 68 so yeah it's it's a bit scary in that respect but yeah we'll know on the 10th of july um let's see what else from the paper i had a good strategy this time around so normally they'll put easy marks in the beginning of the paper. So list that, define that, state that. And then those easy marks are normally worth like less than 40% of the paper. But they try to trick you by putting those in the beginning so that you spend most of your time answering that. And then you fail to answer the more meatier questions. So I actually wrote part of my paper in reverse. So I started with question eight, which was... It had a lot of economic stuff, which I'm not really strong in, but you know, because your brain is still fresh, I felt like I could think better through whatever issues I was trying to articulate in that question. Then I did seven, six, five, and then I went to the easiest, which was question one, and then did one, two, three, four. So for question four, that was the last question I attempted, and I, how many marks did I leave out? For question four i put points on everything it's just it wasn't as fleshy as i would have liked so in my head i answered half of that question and then for the a question somewhere in between there was about six marks that i literally had no idea what to say about so yeah that was the sp7 paper so now i'm just really glad this exam sitting is over and the wait begins 11 weeks as it is um i've got a lot that i need to do i'll probably take you along most of it as well like i've got my cpd and ppd submissions coming up in between um the end of exams which is now and the next exam sitting so yeah there's that and a whole bunch of other life stuff and my old videos with my nice tips and tricks that I like to give you people. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Thank you to all those who subscribed, even though I was offline, completely off the grid and just, you know, you, you weren't sure if I was coming back. Um, I'm really grateful to all of you. And I hope that your exam setting went well. Yeah, that's something I should have said. And I also wish I could have wished you well before you wrote. And I wish I could have answered more of your questions that you've left on my videos. But from now, I, I promise for now, I can be consistent. I can't say what's going to happen after I get my results and 
maybe I have to rewrite, maybe I don't, or maybe I'm not trying to put all my energy into the final exam and um, the last final step into freedom. So yeah, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>